This is episode one, Windows Gaming on Linux, and today I'm going over Warframe, a Windows-only game that I am currently playing in Linux. So to kick this off as just an entry to the series, I've seen the comments all over the place, hey, I need Windows for gaming. And why this might be true to play every single Windows game, it's not necessarily true for AAA titles. Everyone's like, well, AAA titles don't work. Warframe is a AAA title. It's been out for five years or so, and it is on a whole swath of consoles to to PC. Is you know, it's just everywhere, and it is a wonderful game. I've played it a bit on Windows, and I was like, hey, I'm gonna check out its compatibility. Now in Steam, it's not officially st supported by Steam or Steam Proton, so this is not a simple click to install in that regard. Um, but I wanted to get into um, just the common misconceptions and, and do like a series. So if there's a particular game that you guys are like, you know, if this one game was on Linux, I would switch. Let me know because I'll go try it out. And I have yet to find a game that I haven't been able to switch over to Linux, even some of the newer games. Hell, I had Fallout 76 up and going a little bit today. And uh, I can't tell if the bugs in the game or if it's Linux. I don't know. <laughs> it's such a bad game. But uh, I haven't actually played the game, so may maybe it's uh, fine. Maybe it works great on Windows. I don't know. I, I, judging by all the YouTube videos, I kind of wanted to make that my video, but I was like, no, nah, I want a game that works well and isn't officially supported. So to kick this off, let's uh, go over some of my system here. Right now I'm running on Arch Linux. As you guys know, I just did my day one. If you haven't, check that out. But uh, here's what I'm going for. Um, I'm running a Ryzen 7 1700. I have a Vega 64 in my system. I'm running about 16 gigs of memory. And um, there's all the rest of the specs. Uh, I have two monitors. One's an ultra wide on the bottom and a traditional 16x9 or a 1920 by 1080 in the top. Uh, as far as that goes, this is just a, I would say a basic setup, but it's probably a bit more advanced than most people. So I have probably more compatibility issues than anybody else out there, uh, such as I already mentioned Fallout 76, but they don't even really support ultra wide or they just now patched it in on this last patch. Um, so I, Again, that's a, a very tricky thing when you have these obscure setups, but uh, a couple things before we get going here. One, do clinfo when, when you're in here. If you're in Ubuntu or anything, you can also do this command, uh, install it. Make sure you're pulling in your clinfo. So if you're on here and uh, look, look to make sure that it is actually pulling in all your platforms. If it says platform zero, uh, you're probably going to have some compatibility issues with OpenCL games, which a lot of these games that aren't officially supported will, will probably run through OpenCL. So just a good tip here before we get in. Now, we've I, I could go over Steam, which I'll, I'll go ahead and briefly touch on Steam here. Um, let me launch it. I'll just go to my games here and launch Steam Native. From here in my library, you can see all the just Steam OS Linux native games. These games are officially supported in Linux. Uh, it's officially, let's see, 64 out of 188. So about a third of my library is just completely native, meaning it'll run easily just by clicking install and play. Uh, special shout out to the people that said try Arch. This getting over it by Bennett Foddy you should totally try this game. You guys will love it. It is the best game ever for people that love Arch. Uh, I think it should be the official game of Arch Linux. Uh, just, just wanted to throw that out there. No reason at all. Uh, but let's go ahead and move on. So we're here for Warframe. Um, as you see, Warframe is not in here. I don't recommend um, on the settings here on Steam Play. 
of enabling Steam Play for all titles and using this Proton. Uh, you will not see great things. So if I did this, most of my 188 games would show up, but uh, would not work all that well. So I don't recommend getting into this advanced section unless expressly you know, following a guide or something online that says, hey, you need to enable this. I, I have never found good things from coming from this. Just enable Steam Play for supported titles and leave it be for Steam. Now, install Lutris is where I'm going with this video. Lutris will help you uh, will help you get by on mini games. So let's go to Lutris.net, and you can actually download and install this, or just use your package manager and install Lutris. Uh, it has a whole bunch of different games, but for today, uh, I wanted to do Warframe. So just type in Warframe or the game of choice here, and you can kind of check its compatibility. And make sure, a careful note on these directions down here. It'll tell you exactly what you need to do to get maximum performance. Because if it says it's gold or platinum, it's going to work pretty darn good as long as you follow the instructions. Um, I saw this. E-Sync is not really uh, something that I really needed. Uh, DXVK, which is Vulkan, uh, obviously I have that installed. Uh, but the rest, I just clicked install and let Lutris do its thing. So if you actually pull up Lutris, which I'll go back into my gaming, it'll pull up, you know, and actually you it'll automatically install and walk you through it and it add this icon. Now, obviously, I didn't go ahead and do this just because it is a big game. I think it's like 15 gigs, 15 to 20 gigs, um, but it adds here, and I just go ahead and add a application menu icon as well so I don't have to get in there every time. So for this video, I'm going to go ahead and flip over to my full ultra-wide here, um, and go ahead and launch Warframe and show you guys what is going on with Windows Gaming in Linux. So here we go. All right, here we go. Let's continue. All right. <laughs> So here we go. Here we are. Now, uh, it works pretty smooth. Now, I'm streaming and recording at the same time, so I don't know how well this is going to work, but let's go ahead and I'm going to load the biggest level or the biggest resource hog in Warframe, which is Plades of Eidolon. Now, the, the loading screens are a little weird here. There's one thing I noticed. It gets a little laggy when it first logs up, and it does this in Windows too, so... Um, but the actual gameplay is fine, so that's uh, just something about the game. So let's go ahead, and as you see, it's it's kind of a fast-paced game. I thought it would be a, kind of a good show of the performance quality of Linux. I mean, it's pretty solid. I'm not the best at this game, so let's go ahead and just run over to something and, and start fighting. So this is about it. I'm not going to bore you guys too much with this game. I don't really have an objective, and I don't want to run a full mission here. I just kind of wanted to run in here and just kind of do a quick test of Warframe and show you guys, hey, it's seamless. It works fantastic. I actually like it a lot better in Windows because a lot of the loading is actually a little quicker than my Windows-based machine. 
and this is not an officially supported game so um hey uh, i just wish i was a little bit better at it <laughs> if my youtube channel revolved around me gaming i think i'd be in trouble uh but uh yeah there we go pretty sweet i'm gonna go ahead and quit out here um and i'll show you guys kind of that so let's go ahead abort go back to our orbiter I wanted to kind of bring this up. If you're wondering if your game plays, load up Lutris. Uh, don't go to the Wine website. Don't go to that uh, database because, honestly, it's not a good resource for uh, checking if it's Wine compatible and all these other things. Lutris, I find, has the best guides, the most up-to-dated guides. Uh, they show you all the different ways you can play your Windows-based games on Linux. So... First, check you know your Steam compatibility, native Steam, and if it can play directly from there using Proton, I have had no issues, and it is literally as simple as hitting install and play. Uh, Lutris is a little more involved, as you've seen. You just have to go in there. You have to read those descriptions when you click install. It's very important you read the description first because there's some some games have some obscure things in their description that you got to make sure work properly. And the third thing, if you're going to really go off brand and, and get out of Steam, make sure your OpenCL is working properly with CL info and uh, GLX info as well. If you you know you're doing this because a lot of times it does rely on OpenGL rendering or um, Vulkan, which will probably already be installed, and some message drivers and things. But honestly, those should be installed anyways for gaming because you know, you're know you getting reduced uh, performance in a, in a lot of ways from certain things. So I know I need it for video editing, like uh, DaVinci Resolve requires OpenCL. Um, and you're just kind of, I, I just like having that functionality. But I wanted to just make this video today just as, just to say, hey, stop saying gaming sucks on Linux because it doesn't. And a lot of games work just fine, completely as if you were playing it on Windows. And I just, I don't get the comments. I don't get it. I mean, yes, there's a couple games that don't work. Fallout 76, I still haven't got it working 100%. I go ahead, load it up, and I get to, you know, in the game, and I actually create my guy, and then it gets to that first screenshot screen, and then I take my screenshot, and then about two seconds later, I crash the desktop. Now, a lot of Windows users are reporting this same bug. So it may just be Fallout 76, it may be something specific to my computer configuration, or it could just be, you know, it's a, a Linux compatibility. I don't know. But what I do know is any game I've really set my mind to to work in Linux, I've gotten to work uh, as long as it showed up in Lutris. Um, and almost every game I've, I've looked up is in Lutris. Uh, so if you're just unsure or you're a Windows user and you're like, hey, my favorite game is this, I have to have it, go to Lutris.net, check it out, and you might think about making the leap to Linux, uh, because I've really enjoyed it, and gaming was one of those, you know, hold-offs, I was like, I, I need this, um, but everything else I've just really enjoyed, uh, but that's it for today's video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.